Yeah, that was horrible. So Daryl here, <laughs> he harvested this buck yesterday. Look at that buck, too. Golly. What did this one score? 209. 209. 209 and a half. How much did it weigh? 206, I believe, 206 pounds. That is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. With a bow. No, not with a bow. Oh, okay. With a <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say with a bow. I'm sure this doe has two bucks and one of the DNA. Well, I'm, my name's Greg Vest. We're out here on the Judy Carroll Ranch, riding around, getting a little layout of the land, hopefully see some animals, some big ones. Uh, from originally from Southeast Texas, moved out to Western Texas to uh, pursue growing big deer, whitetails in particular. Have a lot of, a lot of trophies in here, probably a dozen over 200 inches born in here. Well, not only do we have whitetails, we got quite a few uh, water tanks on here too that we uh, you can hunt waterfowl on, geek bullfrogs. Yeah, I like to raise and grow big whitetail. Just a personal passion of mine from a child experiences in the in the wild with my dad, hunting, fishing. Just kind of you know stuck with me and pass that along to our kids as well. In addition to you know, raising whitetails, you know, we have a, a variety of exotic species in here as well. We got black buck, axis, fallow. We can accommodate hunters year round. It's kind of bridge gaps away from whitetail season. If you love to hunt, you can come out and experience that. We got dove hunts as well. Actually, some of the, the best dove hunting I've ever partaken in or seen has been out here. Ducks. So, just a, a pretty big variety of animals. If they got particular interest, we can actually accommodate that too as far as additional animals, separate animals. My goal here would be to ultimately retire, you know, raise big deer, sell big deer, let other people experience it, uh, and pass it on to uh, future generations, outdoors yep. oriented individuals. You know, we treat everybody like family. Once you come here, you're, you are family. We welcome everybody in our house. Centrally located, kind of, not too far from the hill country and then not too far from the metro Dallas metroplex area. Get away from uh, mainstream, uh, unwind, or just enjoy the views out here. Just whatever tickles your fancy. Let's go, go in and Greg. Go, go for it, Greg, go. We're going, we're going. <laughs> if, you, if you're scared, get a dog. <laughs> so this is what they call the Hilton. And you can see how it gets its name. God. This is where Tyler was this morning. There's a lot of space. You could lay that. You can put a queen size bed in here and lay down. Bring the whole family. That's duck blind. Look at that. Good size. Yes. Yeah, this, this is fun. Gosh. That is, I've never seen that. Yeah, that's so what's the story with this? Well, I, I harvested an axis doe with my bow, and this yeah, was inside her. Right no he way. Yes. He wasn't from here. She, she here. was just about to see the duck drop I call and uh, my, uh, I called my taxidermist up and he I said oh I do that all the time I can mount that so I brought it to him and that, there we go that's very unique mm. probably one of the prettiest mounts that we have yeah. 
No, because Greg. 239. Bone to Crockett. 239. And he's still in here. How big is he now? Uh, I think he, he got more typical this year, but he's mm, 220, I'm guessing. Maybe a little more. It's kind of. He's out there somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yep, he's here. What's his name? His name is, well, Hooves. We'll call him Hooves. Hmm. Hooves. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Look how unique this one is here. Yeah. So narrow. Gosh. That is unreal. I mean, That's his like a bigger than a lot of bases on animals. Oh my gosh. Look at that. See, you got to put your hand on there. You see, you like that. Perspective. Uh, right Look right. at my hand in this in this yeah. shot right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at my I, hand I, in that shot. All right, look at that. That's uh, yep. that's the target. Yes, sir. It's gonna be our target deer, the mainframe ten. He's got some other trash going on right now, but but he's a mainframe ten, thirteen inch G threes on these sheds. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Here's another shed off of it. Pretty big deer. That mm. is. And this is one we called wide load. He's been harvested. He scored 213, 29 and a half inches when, when he was harvested. When was he harvested, 2019? Year before last, actually. Year before last. He was bigger than this, actually. These are three years worth of sheds off the same deer. Oh, uh, so did you find this with the shed or somewhere else? No, sir, somewhere else. How did you do that? I, I do a lot of walking. I spent a lot of quality time out in the past. Wow. But, what about arrowheads? Any arrowheads while you're doing, while you're looking? I haven't looking? found any. Huh. Um, but I would love to find some here. But. That is so cool. Mm. Golly. 210 inch deer. Wow. Mainframe 10. That is a nice buck. Yeah. So he drops here, he does the same on the other side. Yeah. He got enough, he curled down on the other side, he got like double drops off the main, but the mainframe 10, okay. 210 inches. We're looking at some snakes. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure. Got it. Get back on A few other members of the ranch. They've been chilling for a little bit. They've been chilling. <laughs> Get back. So you, how'd you catch them? And I caught them with a, a snake catcher and then put them in bags and put them in the cooler. When did you uh, catch them? All this year. Everyone Just out them. walking and sawing? Uh, well, this one right here, right outside <laughs> the driveway, and another one just south of the house, and then one by the well, yeah, one of them by the house. What made you decide to freeze them? Like, where'd you hear that? Why'd you do it? I've never done it before. I just recently, uh, historically, killed them, but recently, within the last year, just started freezing them. And I'm now going, you got options. Yeah, with options to do something to later do with something it. with it. Whether you want to make a belt, a, a knife scabbard, or or tan the hide and put it on the wall. Plus, it's just uh, a cool story. Yeah. And you got to kill them. Yeah. Do something with them either way. Yep. Yeah. Get them out of the uh, off the ground so they don't bite somebody by <laughs> accident. How long has he been in there before I pick him up? <laughs> yeah. 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 Today. He's Early been in there today. about. He's been in about an hour. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this summer had a college kid staying out here. We caught a big rattlesnake one night, and so he was holding the bag to put the rattlesnake in the bag, and he had a cut. Well, the, the snake was um, spitting out his venom, and the venom ended up getting in his laceration on his hand. He was okay with it from what he read on the internet. However, when he went to bed that night, he was getting dizzy and getting numb in his hands, and he didn't come get me to take him to the merch room, but however, he that was indicative of what he read on the internet. So if you get something in a in a say a laceration, the next day when I talked to him, he was he was okay, but he did feel some ill side effects from getting venom in a uh, cut on his hand. So uh, just something to be aware of if you're out in the wild and you have a cut, and you get you get a uh, snake venom in it. So, so you you were saying 
another reason to do this is you can get some anti anti venom. Correct. 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 I, I believe you can get some anti venom from it. You can. There's a market for to supply the the health industry with uh, with snake venom. So that's one of the ingredients with anti venom. Yeah. So, so freezing snakes could actually save somebody's life. Could save yes. could save a dog's life. Um, human, a child. I've actually had a friend of yeah. mine. Their two year old got bit by a rattlesnake. Yep. And uh, and he he start, he uh, got uh, two doses of anti venom and ultimately kind of yeah. you know helped him out. Yeah. So another thing to to mention too is like what what people from not in the southwest don't realize is we have a lot of snakes and there is no shortage of snakes. There's they're not an endangered species by any means. And they don't have very many predators right. anymore. So, the the more snakes we take off, you, we could take you could take off a thousand snakes off this place and probably not even touch the population. That's how many there are. So it's it's, it's always important to remember that too. When people people get rid of snakes for safety reasons and to get the antivenom and to get the the hides for belts or whatever and to get the meat, on top of all that, it's just good to get them off the land because there's so many of them. Right, and it's a form of management too, you know, and it's healthy for the snake population, even yes. though a lot of us may not be aware of that. You know, yeah. It is healthy for the snake population because they get an older generation, a younger generation too, and so, yeah. you know, so you got to have that, it's a life cycle, you know, it's a life cycle. And we have about, I've seen about five species of snakes out here, you know, yeah. rattlesnakes, king snakes, uh, bull snakes, coach whips, it, it plays a, in the role in the life cycle. Yep, you know? yep. So, Absolutely. And there's benefits Good. from it. So Greg, I wanted to show you, I just want to show everybody the prize deer. Yeah. You know, the, what we always want to get here, the, and the one that I'm going to go for tomorrow is this this one's brother. Oh, oh snotty nose. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's Vestas. We're calling that Vestas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Old snotty. Old snotty. <laughs> he better have for a minute. <laughs>
This man says it's the biggest buck he ever shot. So, out here on the Judy Carroll Ranch, 200 inch deer pushed close to 200, I bet. But, what do you think about him? I didn't even get one cup of coffee in me. <laughs> yeah. Tall. Yeah, he is tall. He's very tall. About 190. And a really funny deer. That, that's a nice one, but the one you see what we got. <laughs> What'd y'all get? Come look at our deal. Wow! Wow. Wow. <laughs> now that is a beast. <laughs> okay, here. So here's the test. Tyler, you take the first bite. Okay. This is a uh, shoot, clean, and cook episode suddenly. I wonder, should I do a jalapeno? That's the only difference, right? I go right for yes. that that middle section right there. Right here? Yeah. I'm not gonna eat that whole thing that I'll have. Go for it. Go for it. Great. Right. That's as fresh as it gets right there. Yep. <laughs> here we go. So good. <laughs> Man, it's good. Ah, the hunt right there.